basically said, are you an idiot? And I said, yeah. You know McConaughey doesn't wear deodorant? Yes. A lot of celebs don't. A lot of celebs, a lot of celebs don't. don't. <laughs> Amazing. A lot of sneezing. Amazing timing with that. Jack's allergic to the new record. <laughs> Last Young Renegade is my favorite record we've ever made, for sure. You know, we've been a band for over 10 years now, and it's we've made a lot of records. It's our seventh album, and we've gone through a lot getting to where we are now. And I think a lot of that story we've never told. Uh, you know, some of the darker times, some of the, the times when we've had self-doubt. You know, I think we're always pushing ourselves to try new things and get out of the box and not just write the same record we wrote last time. Um, so that was a big part of it. And then I think from there, we kind of got a little more creative with the story on this record. It's, um, I think there's a big overarching kind of theme on the album and a lot of connective tissue between the songs. Um, if you listen back to all our albums, which is something I, I rarely do, but I, I kind of do it when we start thinking about making a new record, um, there's actually a lot more diversity across our albums than I ever realized. Like every album kind of has its, its the songs that feel like very bread and butter all time low, and then there are the songs that kind of feel like we tried some things. And the realization was that our fans are just so rad and let us kind of do what we want and experiment and try things and they're like always stoked about it so yeah I was gonna say it does help that we have this is our seventh studio record you know so we have 10 years worth of material that even though this is a little bit darker and thematically it's a little bit different we're still shrouded around by a lot of positivity in previous records yeah. and like whatever a little brighter themes so I think it's good to change it up sometimes and just kind of you know do something different and make people think yeah getting Tegan and Sarah on the song ground control was it was unexpected. It was a curveball. I mean, we're massive fans. Uh, I, I've loved them for a long time, and um, we were spinning a lot of Tegan and Sarah when we were uh, when we were working on this album. Sure, yeah. So we we sort of wrote that song, and I knew when we wrote it that I wanted it to be a duet and to feature someone, and they kind of came to the top of the list. And that's always cool, I think, in music when two artists that you may not expect to collaborate come together and work on something like that. And they nailed it right away. Like, yeah, there wasn't the best part of... about it was kind of how rad they are and just what they brought to the table, like. They nailed it right away, so our input would have been, yeah, good take, and that would have been great. Can we get a great. picture? <laughs> I actually think that music's in a really interesting place where sort of those walls of like what genre you're supposed yes. to listen yeah, to, and, sure. and like, oh, you don't listen to exclusively metal, you poser. Like, I remember growing up, we got a lot of that. It was like you listen to one thing, and if you told anyone that you listened to anything else, we were sellouts for you like were a point. poser. <laughs> so it's like, I, I think what's amazing now is like you have kids that listen to All Time Low, they listen to Bring Me the Horizon, they listen to Taylor Swift, they listen to DNCE, and then they go and put on like an Of Mice and Men record right after it, and it's kind of all on the same playlist. Not only do you have fans who are enjoying a, a wider set and field of music, but you also have artists who are taking more chances because of it. You know, an artist like Harry Styles coming out with a song that sounds like David Bowie is not something that you would really have expected 10 years ago, but it's happening. And you have Fall Out Boy completely rebranding and doing something completely different because again, they've been a band forever and they want, they want to try new things. There's really no walls anymore. You can kind of, as long as you have your fan base and you keep uh, nurturing them, as I said before, they're along for the ride, which is amazing. <laughs>